When we decided that we wanted to do something about promoting our work to the Canberra community, somebody asked us, have you thought about changing your name? And we'd been Canberra Men's Centre for so long, it just felt like that's who we were. And we suddenly realised it gave us an opportunity to say something about our organisation and what we stood for. We work with men from all different socio-economic levels. Um, we work with men with high and complex needs. We work with men who other organisations tend to push, push away. And so one of the first things we wanted to do for the change from Canberra Men's Centre to every man was to give them a voice. And I immediately thought, yep, that's it. Every man and his dog. <laughs> when we think about Canberra Men's Centre, um, sounds a bit like um, a local community health centre or something, something that exists to serve uh, people in a finite area. But in fact, most of the work that we do uh, with men living in Canberra and with their families happens outside. It happens out in the world where people live. Having to help and assist uh, men who are in need, who are important to us. Well, I mean, every man encompasses a whole story. So it, it, it allows every man to be unique, every man to have an opportunity. And that, that sets a foundation to really bring to life what, they, what every man do in terms of helping people. Canberra Men's Centre started to feel like it was a bit too small and a bit too parochial. Canberra is a wonderful place to live, but we want to start providing support to people who live in regional New South Wales, people who live in Queanbeyan, people who live in Yass, people who live down on the coast. Um, but every man out there, every man out there, deserves some support. It doesn't matter what man, the problems a man has. If he wants to make significant changes in his life, then that man, every man, deserves that right to change.